We have a new trailer for Morbius and is bursting with details and easter eggs. Here are some small things you may have missed in the newest upcoming Marvel film from Sony Entertainment. At around 1 minute 17 in the trailer, the Horizon Labs building briefly shows up in the New York skyline. It's not as well known to wider audiences as a building like Oscorp, but it's still pretty important. Created during Dan Slott's run on The Amazing Spider-Man in 2010, Horizon Labs lets scientists create whatever they like as long as their inventions better the company and society as a whole. Peter quickly gets hired by the company after managing to turn off an experimental machine which creates artificial vibranium. It continues to be a big part of Peter's life, but he's ultimately fired by the company before striking out on his own to create Parker Industries. The Marvel Cinematic Universe hasn't really leaned into Peter's significant scientific prowess too much, so it'll be interesting to see how Sony's Spider-Man universe deals with elements like Horizon Labs. Obviously, it depends how Spider-Man No Way Home plays out, but if Tom Holland's wall crawler leaves the MCU, he could always get a job at Horizon Labs. The New York skyline in the trailer also features a nod to one of Spider-Man's greatest foes, Norman Osborn, aka the Green Goblin. Yes, that's right, the Oscorp building shows up at 1 minute 41 in the new footage. The building confirms that Norman exists somewhere in Sony's Spider-Man universe, and by extension, so does his son Harry Osborn. Surprisingly, the company's font on the building is the exact same one used in the Amazing Spider-Man franchise. In that take on the character, the company is not only responsible for the death of Peter's parents, it's also where Dr. Kurt Connors starts growing new limbs before he transforms into the Lizard, and it's where Max Dillon becomes Electro. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 also introduces Harry Osborn, who eventually dons the experimental Green Goblin armor after losing his mind due to a degenerative disease. The sequel even shows off various weaponry connected to the Sinister Six in an attempt to set up various doomed sequels in the series. The Morbius trailer gives us our second peek at what seems to be Michael Keaton's Adrian Toomes, who previously made a brief appearance in the first teaser for the film. The last we saw of Toomes, aka Vulture, was in the post credit scene of Spider-Man Homecoming. The villain is now imprisoned after the events of that movie and looks to still be in the hands of the police in Morbius. Despite living the last several years in prison, Toomes knows who Dr. Michael Morbius is and looks like he wants to work with him on some level. With Vulture rumored to appear in the upcoming Spider-Man No Way Home film, we might see Morbius show up as well, as these two characters definitely have some sort of future together. One of the quickest but nonetheless most noteworthy connections to previous Spider-Man stories comes around the trailer's two-minute mark, when Morbius looks down at a copy of a newspaper. Sharp Eyes will be able to make out the paper's title in the few moments that it remains on screen. It is the Daily Bugle, the very same newspaper run by professional Spider-Man hater J. Jonah Jameson. Obviously, Jameson's anti-superhero sentiments don't disappear simply because Sony has kept Spider-Man out of the picture in this universe. The headline of this particular issue of The Bugle reveals that Morbius has been arrested as a suspect in the case surrounding the vampire murders. However, it appears that Jameson is either publishing fake news or Morbius has recently escaped, because he doesn't appear to be in police custody when he reads the paper. It's all over town, Robbie. Gossip, rumors, panic in the streets. We're lucky. Venom and Morbius aren't the only anti-heroes in the Spider-Man universe that Sony plans on giving spin-off movies to. Felicia Hardy, otherwise known as Black Cat, has been the subject of a much-delayed adaptation for quite some time. That said, the Morbius trailer suggests that she could be set to enter the cinematic universe sooner rather than later. The trailer features a shot of the Daily Bugle newspaper and a headline in the top right-hand corner that reads, Black Cat, Friend or Foe. Could this be the studio's way of telling us that a Black Cat movie or TV show is on the horizon? On the other hand, considering that one of the other headlines reads, Rhino on the Loose, Zoo Hoax Fools Us All, maybe the filmmakers are just having fun referencing Spider-Man characters. Marvel character or not, it really wouldn't be a vampire movie without giving nods to one of the most iconic fanged fiends in history. We're of course referring to Transylvania's most notorious inhabitant, Count Dracula. Not only does Leto's doctor-turned-blood-guzzling anti-hero have a similar wardrobe to the Count pre-transformation, his journey back from his batty encounter is very reminiscent of Bram Stoker's legendary vampire as well. During his talk with Tyrese Gibson's dubious lawman Simon Stroud, it's revealed that Morbius went missing for two months, only to be found on a shipping container that washed up near Long Island. Fans of the classic vampire novel will recall that Dracula's reign of terror begins after he's transported by boat from his homeland to London killing everyone on board before it docks. 
Judging by the armed soldiers who meet a grisly end in the trailer, Morbius could have taken a similar course of action. And speaking of vampire movie references, the trailer's slowed-down cover of People Are Strange by The Doors is an obvious nod to Joel Schumacher's cult classic vampire film, The Lost Boys. That's not all, both The Lost Boys and Morbius follow a Michael who begins to exhibit certain vampire-like qualities. You'll never grow old, Michael. And you'll never die. But you must feed. We can only hope that Morbius features a similar scene-stealing saxophone man. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies and TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.